Okie dokie, we have here a triangle. Vum, 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 and vum. I get an F for art. I realize that. But that's fine. In the sense that these figures aren't drawn to scale, typically. This one, though, is drawn to scale for whatever reason. 60 degrees here. We have a right angle here, right angle here. This is 45. All these light bulbs should be flashing in your head saying 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. And you should know your proportions. Going in, know that you know this is going to be x square root of 2. This side's going to be x. This side's going to be x for the 45, 45, 90. And of course, also know that things are a little different here because we could use the shorter side x and then this side over here, which let's just call b, d. Let's so see over here. This would be x root 3. So they do switch over a little bit, but as long as you know those ratios, you should be fine. So we start off here. The side is 2x. In this case, it's equal to 2, so we know that x is 1. That's great because now this side, bd, is going to be equal to root 3. And now we can use our properties of 45, 45, 90 to say, hey, this side right here is also going to be equal to root 3. We know that dc here is equal to 1. Let me write that one a little bit bigger. So we know that, aha, uh -huh, ad plus dc, which is 1 plus root 3, is the length of AC. What is that? Well, great takeaway from this problem. Definitely know that root 3 is equal to 1.7. It's not exactly 1.7, but that's an approximation. That's all you'll really need for the GRE. And so that's equal to 2.7. That is quantity A, 2.7. Look over here at quantity B. What do we have? We have 3. Well, 3 is bigger than 2.7. And just like that, B is the answer.